everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going to be doing a little deep dive into Kitty Pride. As you can see down below here, the uh, champion videos, there is an official deep dive video, but I like to do my own little spin on it. So let's take a look at her attributes first. And then we're going to go over her synergies because she has a couple of synergies that are phenomenal for her. Okay, so here we have uh, Wolverine. When phase expires after causing miss, 30% chance to consume no prowess. Okay, that's pretty good. Here is one of the ones I was talking about that is phenomenal. Each miss that occurs during phase grants two additional prowess. These can stack above the normal limit. And we'll talk a little bit more about why you want her to have as many prowess as she can. So this is a synergy that we will be using. Um, here we have uh, through thick and thin. Become immune to reverse controls. And each time this immunity is triggered, gain one personal prowess. This one's also pretty good when you need it. I used it. Um, I think it was in act, uh, either seven or eight, uh, wherever I had to fight. Uh, and one of the phases was, uh, reverse controls and having her on the team gave me that immunity and it was really good. And here is the golden synergy. While 10 plus prowess are active, become passively unblockable while phased. That is huge. And we will be using that one as well. While I may not go in with a ghost, if I'm using Kitty Pride and I have room, we're going to bring in Tigra. Tigra is also a very awesome champion. So it is not a, a hardship. All right, then we've got here Magneto when phasing gain one Fury buff for each debuff on Kitty, each increasing attack rating. Now, because I run the Recoil Masteries, that is actually useful, but we're not going to use that one right now. Uh, increase the duration of Incinerate debuffs by 10% and passive Incinerates by 15. So more damage. And then we have more armor rating and more combat power rate. All right, let's uh, take a look at her abilities here. So her signature ability, I am of the opinion that she really needs to be awakened. But that doesn't mean you can't use her without being awakened. Um, I wasn't going to be using her unless she was awakened. So for me, she needed to be awakened, but she is perfectly good unawakened. But look at what she gets just by being awakened. No signature levels. While phase take no damage from any source. That is so huge. So that is why I say she really needs to be awakened. But you can play her just fine without that. Because she's going to, as we will see, uh, take less damage while phased anyway. It's just that she will take no damage if she's awakened. And then, of course, uh, more SIG levels. Uh, while phased, she's going to gain combat power rate and pause phasing while being struck. That allows for some fun uh, special three um, techniques, shall we say. Uh, the first time each personal incinerate effect expires naturally or is purified has a 40% chance to re-trigger at 30% potency. Very nice. Incinerates triggered from this ability are always passive. Now, you see that she has a, a chance and all of that, right? What happens when she becomes a horseman? And if you are not familiar with that, uh, take a look at Apocalypse. He can make any mutant a horseman. She becomes even better. Uh, but anyway, um, passive. She's immune to incinerate thanks to Lockheed's assistance. That's her little pet. 
Uh, all right. So passive prowess. And we were talking about prowess earlier and why she wants to have more prowess. So first of all, she's going to gain a prowess when either champion lands a critical hit. So you don't really want to be getting hit with criticals. So your criticals are going to give you more prowess. Or inflicts a stun effect. So a, a parry will get you um, a, a prowess. Okay? Plus two against guaranteed crits or passive stuns. Gain two prowess when intercepting a dashing opponent. Each prowess increases special attack damage by 5%. So you want prowess. And last until the end of Kitty's next special attack that strikes the opponent or their block. If Kitty is inflicted with cowardice, all prowess are lost. So if you are going up against someone that can put on a cowardice, it's not so good. While the opponent is suffering from incinerate, prowess potency begins to increase by up to 400% over 40 seconds. This bonus gradually falls off while no incinerates are active. Each time Lockheed prevents an incinerate, the above prowess potency bonus is increased by 30%. So if you're fighting somebody uh, that will put incinerates on you, every time uh, Lockheed prevents it, because that's how you are incinerate immune, uh, you will get more prowess potency. When throwing a special attack, all personal prowess are removed and reapplied through the current prowess potency bonus. So if you were wondering, what does that mean? All of this prowess potency bonus increasing and everything, that is why. When you throw a special attack, all the personal prowess are removed and reapplied. So you will see some people, uh, they will first fire a special, like a special one, and then fire a special two, and it hits even harder. That's why. You don't have to, but if you want to do a lot of damage, that's what you do. Okay, so your first special attack is going to do some good damage, but the next special is going to do even more. All right, phasing. Dashing forward with three or more prowess triggers phasing for the duration of the dash plus... 1.2 seconds after, giving the opponent a 100% chance to miss. And this is paused during Kitty's special attack. So let me explain something and why this is so good. Say you run the recoil masteries like I do. When you fire your special attack, you're going to take recoil damage. That's how it works. However, if Kitty is awakened, now you see why I said for me, she has to be awakened. If she is awakened, she doesn't take any damage while she's phasing. So as long as I have three prowess and I am phased when I fire my special attack off, I will take no recoil damage. Very, very nice. That makes her extremely friendly to those masteries. While phase gain a critical rating, become stun immune, and take 80% reduced damage. So remember I told you, even if she's not awakened, it's not like she's going to take a lot of damage. So she has damage reduced by 80% if she's not awakened. If she's awakened, she doesn't take damage while phased. Uh, while phased, robots suffer 20% uh, ability accuracy reduction. Personal debuffs and buffs that are triggered while phased become passive and gain 20% duration. Okay, all of this is when she's phased. Each miss caused by phase deals a burst of physical damage and Kitty gains plus three personal prowess. These can stack above the normal limit. When phasing expires, six prowesses, uh, prowess are consumed for each miss that phasing cause. So um, this is where you have to kind of get used to how to fight with her. 
and I still sometimes mess this up. All right. So say you phased. You got three prowess. You phased and they um, hit into you while you were phased, causing them to miss. Well, when that phase ends, you're not going to have any prowess. And so you can't phase again until you get prowess again. Now, if you are, you know, going, doing the usual dash, dash, back, forth, and you built up a lot of prowess, as long as you have at least nine, you'll be able to do that even if they hit you while you were phased. But keep in mind, it's six prowess for each miss. So you have to be alert. You dash, and if they miss twice, and you have that same nine prowess, you're going to lose all of them. Okay, so it, it takes some practice. Basically, what I'll do is if I see that I got hit during the um, prowess, I will <clears throat> dash back. And I won't try to dash in until I can glance up there and see how much prowess I have left. And go like that. All right, so here's her special attacks. Final three hits of this attack, uh, of her special one, inflicts incinerate, okay? Reducing block proficiency and removing perfect block chance. Incinerates inflicted by this attack expire one at a time and are paused and uh, refreshed while any other incinerate is active. With 10 plus prowess, incinerates will trigger through block. I died in Battlegrounds because of this. I was sitting here going, why in the world am I getting incinerated? I'm blocking. That's why. She had 10 plus prowess. And so even though I blocked, I still got incinerated. Nasty. Uh, special two. Each hit deals a burst of physical damage equal to 40% of the damage dealt by the hit. With 10 plus prowess, gain an unblockable buff lasting nine seconds plus an additional 0.25 seconds for each prowess over 10. This makes it really nice uh, if you have 10 and you're doing the dash back and forth, and say you have Tigra, which we usually do, you will be unblockable, but then you'll get a buff. So in case they hit you and you lost all your prowess, you're still unblockable for a little bit. Very nice. Very, very nice. Um, another thing that you often want to do here is you want to attack with the special two while phase so you want to dash in while you're phased hit them then fire your special two and it'll pause your phase everything and you'll do a good amount of damage and then the special three inflict a non-stacking incinerate debuff dealing energy damage over 30 seconds when this attack ends enter phasing for two seconds if phasing was already active this time extends to four seconds. So there is a technique where you fire off your special three. Then you stand there while they're hitting you. You're building up a lot of uh, power. And depending on the node, you may go all the way back to a special three and you can just cycle them. Okay. Let's get some gameplay and uh, play around with her against uh, Winter Soldier. Okay, I'm not going to go over each of the synergies because we already did. Uh, so let's just have a little bit of fun. Now, keep in mind, I am not a Kitty Pride expert. All right, so let's see. I parried, so you see I have one uh, prowess. Just got another one. Okay, now we're up to four. All right, so I'm building them up. Now I can um, uh, intercept safely. All right, here we go. As soon as I get to 10, 
The reason that I brought Tigra will show itself. There we go. Now I can just keep on going. Ho ho ho, yeah. Fun times. Don't matter if he blocks. I don't care. Fired right into a special two. Look at that damage. Okay, and I even got the buff, but I don't have enough prowess. Okay, now I have the prowess. Look at that. I was unblockable still from the uh, special. Okay. Now I want to show you guys something else here. All right, now I'm, I'm at 10. So let's see. There we go. Watch this. See how I dash right at him? And I'm still... Uh, got my prowess. All right, let's fire off the um, special three. This is a lot of fun. Look at the damage. And I'm not even doing anything really um, difficult here. Okay, I can't. He waited until, so I couldn't do that. All right, build up my prowess. Okay, there we go. Mm-hmm. Look at that. See, he missed, but I had enough prowess Look at that. I had enough prowess in order to um, phase right afterwards still. Here we go. Boom. Done. Look at my health. Very nice. Very, very nice, right? Kitty, kitty is, is something else. If I had gotten a four to uh, five mutant, I would have uh, used it on her. Let's do one more fight. Okay, intercept, so I already got the, the three. There we go, now I'm at 10. Here we go. Okay, see that? Look at my prowess. Okay, hit her with the special one. Now I can't phase again. Okay, now I can phase. There we go. Okay. Look at that. Kitty nasty. Look at this. Look at this. Nasty. And see, I'm still unblockable. Even though, even if I didn't have a uh, tiger. Now I'm unblockable because of Tiger. Just boom. Look at this. Done. Kitty ain't no joke. Definitely no joke. All right. That is going to do it for the video, guys. Hopefully you see uh, very quick fights with, with, with Kitty. Uh, fun. And you can see she finished both of these with 100% of her health. All right. So take care. Hit the like button, it helps me grow. And you all have a blessed day.